from Smells and Swirls. I'm going to show you how to make a dolphin pincher. I did one in my journal and lots of people loved it when I posted it on Instagram. It was just sort of one of those things that I was just um, drawn to do. So I'm going to show you how to do one today. I have a regular piece of watercolor paper. And I am going to draw the dolphins first. I might not do it exactly the same as what I've done. But I'm going to start with sort of the mom dolphin. So I'm going to start with her little snout. And then I'm going to come go up. And down. So kind of curling down and then I'm going to do her tail and then I'm going to come down from here and so you're just kind of doing the opposite now you kind of go not as curved as that but sort of and you try and end up over here you can also like kind of put a dot and then um, that will guide your pencil where you're trying to go and then we're gonna finish this tail so it's kind of you go out slightly in out like that there fun then we're going to do um, I kind of do like a little line so I know that I want that part lighter and then I'm gonna make the fin come down from there. And then on the other side, the other one will be coming down. And then we need a fin up top. There, and then we'll give her an eye. She's gonna kind of be looking back. <laughs> I kind of feel like her. This is a little too big. I start with it because it kind of, because then I know where it's going to end up. I don't want it to be like off the page or, let's give her a more dainty one. There. <laughs> okay, there's our first one and I'm just going to erase that from there. And then I'll give her some little ones. So gonna do the same idea maybe I'll do one here do a snout curve going down same thing on this side but not as curvy then the tail is out I kind of I'm trying to figure out how to explain this to you you dip in and you go in like that and then you come out like that <laughs> make them kind of smaller and do the same thing with the fins and the top fin now they yeah that's good erase that and maybe we'll do one more see how it goes do another one over here snout curve and out again I've got my dolphins all drawn on now no I drew them a little darker than I normally would just so that you'd be able to see but um, when you're you're drawing on watercolor paper try to draw um, lighter so I'm going to start with a wet on wet technique just on my rig and I've got a watercolor brush and a flat one and I'm gonna use, I have this set of uh, Jean Davenport watercolors. It's just like a little travel set that I have. But you can use any watercolors that you have. If you have Crayola or uh, Michaels has a few nice brands, whatever 
whatever you want to use, what colors that you like. So first I'm starting with dipping my brush just in the water. And I've got clean water and I'm just going to put that on my paper first. So we're going to do a wet on wet. And when I get up to the dolphins, I try not to get water on them. So just you can wet the whole background or you can kind of do half at a time if you're using a bigger piece of paper. But you get it pretty wet. And then we're going to drop color into there. Make some cool uh, effects. And I'm going to try and follow sort of the movement that I think the dolphins will be doing. So they can kind of be like this when I put the color in. Okay, so now I'm going to use some of these luscious colors. I'm going to do, um, I'm going to start with like a, a light blue. And a little bit of dark blue together. I'm just gonna start dropping that on. It's pretty wet, which is good. Wet on wet, you get some cool effects. That's a pretty color. I'm gonna put some purple pinks in here too. And see, I'm kind of going on a little bit of an angle so that looks like the dolphins are moving fast. And I'm just dropping in some purple to give it interest as well. Some sort of bright pinks and purples. So if you are mixing colors like this, make sure they're colors that go well together, um, so that mix well together. So you could do, like, with the blue, you can put um, purple, you can put red, you can put pink. Or you can go the other way where you do like um, blues and greens. Um, yeah, so just think about colors that mix well together. If you do like, don't go towards the oranges because that's the opposite of blue on the color wheel. So then that's going to start making some muddy colors. So yeah, so stick to colors that you know mix to make other colors. Now, I don't tend to uh, tape my paper down, but some people do, um, so it doesn't buckle, but I find it hard to get the tape off, even though I use painter's tape. I find it hard to get it off without ripping the actual paper. So, I just enjoy it the way it is. So, I'm going to do some line, because I want it to look like these guys are moving with the water to have movement so I'm kind of using a mix of like a light blue and a dark blue and purple and then I think so when I get up to the dolphin now it's kind of dry now so just use lots of water on your brush there we go Found that dolphin and then you can if you went over the dolphin a little bit it's okay you can fix it I'll show you how to fix it so I'm just gonna get clean my brush really well I'm actually gonna take this it's like a thin 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 brush and I'm just gonna Smooth so I don't have any lines on my dolphin of the water or the watercolors. And later they're going to be gray, so it doesn't matter if there's color on them, it will mix well. You just don't want like the hard lines. And then I'm going to fill in. So I'm using a thinner brush to kind of do these details. And then I'm just going to use my cloth to sort of dab the dolphin, smooth that color out. There. They're kind of blue dolphins now, but that's okay. We're going to add different colors to them later. There we go. Okay, and now my 
second favorite technique I like to do. Actually, I'm just going to drop a bit more color in there now because I want to use salt. I want to use salt. You need the colors to be really wet and quite bright. So that's what I'm doing. All right, so I'm going to add some sea salt. And then we're going to work their magic. Yeah, so where, it, where I have it more wet, it's going to work more. And I'm going to let that dry now. Bye. Hi there, back again. So my painting is all dry and I wiped off the salt. So you can see all the cool effects the salt did. Now I'm going to paint the dolphins. So I mixed a little bit of gray here, but I'll show you how I did that. So I get water on my brush and I took the darkest blue because this palette doesn't have black. So you kind of got to make your own gray. So I took the darkest blue and then um, or, uh, blue and orange, as I said before. Um, if you start adding a little bit of orange into the blue, it will make it, and then with water, it will make it a nice gray. And it's kind of good to have orange in one of your paints, so let's check that out. That's a good color. So I'm going to put that at the top of the dolphin, and I'm going to leave the bottom of the dolphin kind of in line with that fin. Um, right now, I'm not going to paint that. Yep. So I'm just adding that gray on there. I'm going to try and leave the bottom free right now. So I'm going to do that on all the dolphins. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I added a whole bunch of water to my gray and now I'm just gonna and I dabbed it on the paper towel and I'm just gonna do that underbelly there really light gray you can leave it white too but because I got a little bit of that blue paint on there I'm just gonna go over it and then later I'll probably use a marker Uh, like a white marker to add some details to that. Okay, coming together. Here, so this is the finished painting so far, and I outlined the dolphins with a black marker. And you can see that I also added some dark for the fins here. I'm just gonna add some white for some interesting, some interesting, I'm gonna do some little swirly lines. I've got this white marker that I'm using. And I'm just gonna add a few details here. Just under the belly. I've got a jelly marker too that I'm gonna add a little bit here just for just to lighten this up a little bit. You don't have to do this. I just always like to add little details. And there we go. I hope you enjoyed this painting. I'd love to see your creations. Bye.